Hi, welcome to this video where you watch me slowly have a breakdown while I try to bake a traditional British item. Today, it's Bakewell Tart. Hi everyone, it's me. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alana and I'm a Canadian, but I have been living here in the wonderful United Kingdom for the last six years. And I can't bake. Now, I've never had a proper Bakewell tart. I've only ever had like the grocery store, Mr. Kipling style Bakewell tart. So today we're gonna change that. I'm going to try and make my very own Bakewell tart. And I hope you guys like the mayhem that is about to begin. If you like this video and you wanna see more videos of what it's truly like being a foreigner in the UK, please consider subscribing. But without further ado, let's go. Now, today's recipe is very exciting because I bought my very own tart tin. I've never seen one of these before and it separates and everything. So that's kind of scary. And I also bought these mysterious ceramic baking beans, AKA the forbidden bean. Don't they look tasty? Don't eat them. So I've never, I've never seen these before. I've never used them before. I've never seen this before and I've never used this before. So what could go wrong? All right, well, I have my recipe down here. We are on step one. <laughs> Everybody say just a little prayer real quick. Please, Lord, I don't wanna burn the house down today. Amen. Now, to start off, in a bowl, we are going to add 200 grams of plain flour. Mmm, delicious. Then we want one tablespoon of icing sugar. Yum! Now it says rub in the butter. I don't know what that means, but I do know we need 125 grams of butter. Rubbing it in, is that with like a hand-based motion perhaps? That's what I'm gonna do. And unfortunately, there's nobody here to stop me. 125 grams. Okay, well, rubbing it in. Don't mind if I do. You might be asking, Alana, if you obviously can't bake, and if you hate baking, and you're gonna have a mental breakdown, why do you keep doing this? And honestly, I ask myself that question. Every time we find ourselves back in this kitchen. Okay, I have rubbed in butter to minimal success. Next up, we are going to add one egg yolk and two teaspoons of water. Mmm. <laughs> Anybody want an egg yolk? Up, 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 up. All right, one egg yolk. And then we want some water. Ooh. Okay, we're supposed to be mixing this into a firm dough. I don't know about you guys, but this is so not firm. I'm gonna go off script, don't tell anybody. Just a little bit more water, just something. It's still pretty fragmented, so I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna dump this out. <laughs> Famous last words. Get this out of my way. Okay, is that kind of, is that kind of becoming a solid mass, perhaps? I should also say, <laughs> So I have a, a handful of cooking videos on my YouTube channel, baking, cooking, a mixture of both. And I always get people saying, Alana, oh my God, you need to wear an apron. My guys, you gotta live dangerously. Okay, next up, we want to roll out this bad boy. Fingers crossed, everybody. Now how thin? That's a good question. One that I do not know the answer to. What do we what do we think about that? Is this still recording? God, I hope so. Um oh my god. Oh my god. You know what? I think we can make this work. <laughs> oh, I spoke too soon. Oh my god, I spoke way too soon. Maybe I did not speak too soon. What's fun is I can feel certain parts are definitely thicker than other parts, but you know what? Life is too short and I'm not doing that again. All right, so we want it to go up the sides, but we don't want it to overhang too much, I imagine. Okay, you know what? For a first time effort, 
I am totally fine with that. Now there is one little bit down here that's kind of thin. So I'm just gonna Frankenstein it just a little bit. Just kind of pop that on there. It doesn't look pretty, but you know what? Who's gonna know except all of us? Okay, and then I'm just gonna do this for some reason. What's that for? Do I go all the way through? I'm not. Oh, there's my Frankenstein bit. Okay, so we are gonna chill that in the fridge for 15 minutes and I'm gonna go think about all my life choices. Don't go anywhere. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. Hello everyone, welcome back. Okay, so the oven is preheated. My pastry has been chilling in the fridge. Took up half the fridge, no worries. Now it wants us to bake the pastry case blind. Now I never heard of that. <laughs> never heard of that, but thankfully there's a little video and the lady takes some parchment paper and scrunches it. Okay, then we take the forbidden beans and we pour them out. So that's fun. Okay, so wonderful. Look at that. We look like we know what we're doing. We're gonna bake this in our hot oven for 15 minutes. And then I'll just go stand in the corner for 15 minutes. I'll see you back here real soon. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, so it's been 15 minutes. We are gonna take out the forbidden beans and hopefully not drop any of them. All right, fun. Okay, looking at this now, you can really see um, half of the pastry is quite thick and the other half is starting to go a bit translucent. No turning back now. So instructions say, take out the beans. We're gonna cook for another 10 minutes and then we're gonna remove it from the oven and just let it cool. So I'm gonna go do that and you guys keep yourself occupied, maybe read a book or learn a new skill and then I will be right back, okay? See you soon. Hey everybody, welcome back. Can I get you something to drink? Are you comfortable? Are you sitting down? Are you cozy? Are you hungry? <laughs> because I am. So we have our um, blind, whatever this thing is called. I've never done it before, but it's a new experience. I should have known that um, my crust has kind of shortened. It's tightened a little bit. Um, so that's just, you know, for next time, it's too late now. While that this is cooling a little bit, I thought we would make our filling, I guess we call it, even though there's no real top on it. Anyway, we're gonna make the other bit. <laughs> we are going to beat together butter, how much butter? 180 grams. I hope I have enough. If you are still watching this video, first off, thank you so much. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for putting up with all of my nonsense. I really do appreciate it. If you uh, ever made a bake wall tart, how do you do it? Uh-oh, SpaghettiO, I'm noticing something. Ooh, ooh, that is not enough butter. Okay, let's figure this out. Okay, here's the thing. I only have salted butter, which we're not really supposed to use. However, I don't need a ton of it. I just need a little bit of it. So don't tell anybody and I won't tell anybody and they'll never know. Okay, so now that we've got our secret salted butter, shh. <laughs> Next, we want 180 grams of castor sugar. Yum. Now we're gonna try and beat, beat this together. <laughs> oh, I hate working with butter, even when it's soft. Butter, I love you, but you're so annoying. Now, we want three eggs, one at a time. Now a little behind the scenes, a little YouTube magic. I haven't had lunch yet, but here we are making a Bakewell tart. I know what I'm gonna be eating for the rest of the day. Fingers crossed. If this works out, I'm gonna be so excited. If not, I'm gonna cry myself to sleep. And our final egg, 
Next, wow, my arm is tired. <laughs> Next, we are going in with the ground almonds, 180 grams. Can't say I've ever worked with ground almonds before. What did I say? 180, right? Right? Yes. All right, now's about the time when I'd realize I should have used a bigger bowl. Okay, next up we want a teaspoon of almond extract. Where'd my teaspoon go? I'm looking right at it. <laughs> oh, Lordy. What does that taste like? Oh, all right, well, okay. Mine is still pretty lumpy, and I'm not totally sure how much I truly care. <laughs> I want this to turn out well, but to be honest, I'm getting tired. Hey guys, it's me, real quick. Do you want more Adventures in Apps content? Please consider joining me on Patreon. In addition to a bunch of extra perks like having our own chat room and I send out postcards and stuff, I also post a full length video on Patreon every week that will never be posted on YouTube. You're missing out on great moments like this. Look at that face. I am clearly loving every second of my life. If you want more exclusive content while supporting me directly, please consider joining me on Patreon. All right, let's just walk away from that for a hot minute. Here's my tart, can you guys see? Now, we are putting 200 grams of raspberry conserve. Um, on the base of the pastry. Okay, how much was that? Good question, I've already forgotten. 200 grams. That, now that smells nice. Get this out of the way. I did not expect it to be that thick. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, let's sort this out. Okay, how, can you see that? I'm afraid to move this. Not bad, right? You might say, Alana, what are you talking about? That looks so messed up, to which I say, it's rustic. If you say rustic, it can look terrible. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even count. It's rustic. Mmm, that's not fully cooked. Now we're gonna put this mixture that kind of looks like vomit um, on top. So, fingers crossed, everybody. Oh my God. <gasps> So at this stage, you can really see the butter that I did not bother to blend up very well. Um, but that's an issue for Alana in the future. Okay, wow, that's something else, isn't it? Now, to finish off, we are going to sprinkle over some flaked almonds. Maybe this will hide my shame. <laughs> I don't know like how much really, I've never seen one of these in the wild, so I'm just gonna kind of just go wild, just go wild. I've never seen one in the wild, I'm gonna go wild. All right, that's enough. That's enough going wild. Okay, here we are everybody. Now, I'm gonna pop that back into the oven while it's hot. We're gonna bake for about 40 minutes and then I'm gonna take it out to cool and I might dust a little bit of icing sugar on top, okay? So say goodbye, all right? I'll be right back, 40 minutes, okay? Hey everyone, welcome back. So what has happened? Baked it for 40 minutes. It still seemed like a bit gooey. So one of the like hints on the recipe said, cover it with tin foil, bake it for another few minutes so it doesn't get too brown. So I did that. It probably could have even gotten more brown. I don't know, I was just, I didn't want to overdo it. So it's been resting for a little bit. Um, I want to pop this out, but I've never done that before. And I'm quite frankly, I'm hungry and I'd like to just dive right in. I think it'll cool faster if we get it out. So if, I was kind of thinking if we use our raspberry thingy and we kind of like, I want to like pop it out. I don't know how else to, Okay, yep, oh. How do you guys do that majestically? That's not bad. Okay, now just get off the tray. 
Or not, that's fine. Just sit on it. That's, that's no worries. It smells delicious, guys. I am so excited. I'm kind of worried that if I cut into it, it's just gonna like, it's just gonna leak out because it's so like it's liquidy, kind of. I don't know, I'm just afraid. Hey, now look at that. Should we cut in or should we wait? The instructions say it like solidifies a bit more. Ugh, you know what, I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes. I'm so hungry. I'm hungry. We've waited long enough. You know what? This is this is the, my cross to bear. I am not patient. I will say it smells so good. If you like almonds, but it's got like a real nice like sweetness, sweetness on. Here we go. <gasps> okay. Where's my phone? Let me, let me get you a B-roll. Okay, so the inside is a bit gooey, but it's supposed to be, you know, a bit wet to it. Is it too wet? Time will tell. You guys, I am so happy. <laughs> All right, I got low standards. Not much I can do about that. Okay, I got some icing sugar. I thought we'd just sprinkle a little bit on. Okay, that doesn't look very nice, but you know what? I need a fork. Okay, everybody, cheers to my very first Bakewell tart. <laughs> oh my God, here we go. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, it's very moist inside. I don't know if it's too moist, like I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be like, but it's certainly not dry, I'll say that. And the raspberry conserve obviously is quite tart, which really balances with the sweetness of everything else and the almond, like, oh my goodness, you guys. Oh my goodness. I can't stop. The recipe did say that the filling is supposed to be more um, wet than a, a sponge per se. And it definitely is more wet than a sponge. Could it have done longer? Maybe, I don't know. But overall, I am so happy, you guys. We have made our very own Bakewell tart. This is delicious, I am so happy. How would you guys bake a Bakewell tart? How would you make it? Because I'm gonna be doing this again, I'll tell you that much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your, your support here on Adventures in Naps. I am posting YouTube videos twice a week. That's right, Tuesdays and Fridays. Oh no, I think I have the hiccups. If you wanna watch more cooking stuff, check out my food and drink playlist on my channel. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye. I'm gonna eat the rest of this.